Well, that, you know, that's kind of been us. I mean, uh, I feel for our guys because um, we put ourselves in position and we defended well enough. You know, I made a comment about uh, in the, after the Louisville game, I said, we always score 61. We can't get off at 61. Well, we, we went up a point, but that still wasn't enough. Um, and I feel for Nate. You know, it's tough. You know, he made the tough one. The first one's the tough one. But um, he's going to be a heck of a player for us. Johnny Mooney's unbelievable. He needs three months off when the season's over. I've never seen anything like this, what he's doing. And it's just too bad, you know, we're not winning to highlight him more. You said last week, you get to the point where it's two and a half minutes to go and you just can't get that bucket that's going to get, that's gonna get you like, okay, we're getting out of here with a win. Yeah, it's just, you know, hard for us to really, you know, get something someone to really want to make the play or take the shot you know we're we're you know we're, we're just not very confident there and and you know so a one possession game and even a tie game with the ball that's a big hurdle for this group right now it's just it is what it is and um could we get one of them before this thing ends i, I would love that but um you know this is kind of who we've been can you Talk to your team about how, and maybe it's too early to do this, but how these situations are going to benefit you in the long run. Yeah, we've talked a little bit about that in the last month, and um, I've told them about teams that I've had in the past that have gone through this and um, just couldn't really get over the hump and couldn't finish it and, um, and came back the next year and learned from it and got a little tougher and, and you know, I think, Certainly after the season, you can wrap it up. But we, we've talked about that a little bit. Mike Brad said that it, it's what makes this league so hard is that you can play hard, you can play well, yeah. and win, and not be rewarded because you're the yeah. – is that what you're going through now? Yeah. Mooney stats, Dane Goodwin stats, yeah. but at the end of the yeah. day, it's still a loss. It, yeah, it's one, it's one that's hard because, you know, that's about as good as we got right. out there tonight. And our young guys really were contributing and – you know that that that's about what we got right now with this group, and and so you you know it's just heartbreaking that you can't let them enjoy a win. Um, but Brad is very very accurate about our league. You you play some of your best basketball with essentially a six man rotation. Yeah, I guess we're good when we play six guys. Huh? Maybe uh, you know what we one and one with six guys. Uh, yeah, interesting with Nick and DJ, and I you know obviously Nick. I don't think we're gonna have. DJ back Saturday, maybe he'd come back, uh, but I don't know if he's going to be back either. So this is who we got moving for him forward. And I, I thought Juwan gave us some. I thought Juwan was back in a rhythm that we saw earlier in the year. I hope we can get him some more productive minutes like that before, you know, just so he ends it. But he was he was part of it tonight, and it you know, and, and it, it, we've been searching for that again. How did Harvey get injured? In practice, uh, got a steal and had a breakaway dunk and pulled up uh, yesterday in practice, like, you know, 10 minutes in. And, uh, you know, you just you don't see many hamstrings in basketball. But there's a lot of wear and tear on his body, too. Probably some fatigue there. Uh, Same leg. Uh, I am not, I'm not sure. I am not, I don't think so. We have been amazingly fortunate that the microfracture heal up has gone so well. You know, they, you know, uh, and I don't want to jinx. I mean, pe people have had issues with that, but he is—he's been good with that. And uh, but did he cross your mind when when he pulled up? It it didn't. It it, it was more. There's a, there's been a lot of miles on that on that leg, and and again, we don't we're not practicing very long right now. And we ended up going four on four, you know, for about 10 minutes. And I don't even know if we can practice the rest of the season because, you know, live. Like, we can't go live tomorrow or Friday. I mean, I can't afford, you know, we'll go a little five on zero, we'll shoot, we'll run, and let's go compete. Like, just compete like you did today on Saturday, and let's do that Tuesday and see what we got. Who Coach? immediately went to Nate? Yeah, our guys, uh, they're, they're great, man. They, uh, TJ was good. Johnny was good with him. And, and um, that's a tough one 
that's really a tough one. And, and, and uh, you know, I know he's had a tough year shooting the basketball, not only from the floor, but also from the foul line. And I think we'll sit in here in the near future when he drains about five threes and he's six or eight from the foul line and go, remember that Clemson game? And, you know, it'll be, you know, he's come a long way. Strength training, big for him this summer. I just think he's going to be really good for us someday. To get his hands on that crazy last play was a hell of a play. Like, like the game was over when we they forced that shot. And I didn't even know until the whistle blew that he got his hands on it. It was a great play. And uh, uh, it's just too bad. I feel for him, but I love him. And uh, you know what? He's going to play a lot of minutes on Saturday. <laughs> Coach Grinnell talked about the season being in the ACC, just a roller coaster mentally, yeah. physically, emotionally, with so many things that just unfortunately haven't gone right. Where would you describe the team mentally and emotionally? We're a little point? exhausted. We're all a little exhausted. You know, we're uh, it, it, it's been draining, no question about it. And I think for some of our first-year players, the freshmen and Juwan, they've never been in something this long and this intense. And, you know, I've had their hearts taken from them, too. You know, so it, it, it's, you know, it's a little bit mentally and physically draining, and, and you're trying to keep them excited. And, and um, you know, luckily we got, you know, they're great kids. They're great kids. They're coachable. They come in every day. And how can we get better? And, and uh so I, I'm just I'm hurting for him tonight because that's as good as we got. How do you approach Saturday? Knowing, like, yeah, you really need a win. Yeah, we do, and it's going to be hard with 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 who we have. It's going to be very hard for us if, if we could beat Pittsburgh at Pittsburgh, and I know they're searching too. Um, you know, we would really celebrate that. And two teams in similar situations be awesome to feel a win going to Charlotte you know, to help you a little bit. Um, but it's going to be a dog fight because we're both, <laughs> we're both dying, you know, and, and need one. Coach, what went into the decision to start Liam and what does he like to your program? You know, I, I just thought he, he deserved it. And, you know, I made that decision in the locker room after the game at Louisville. I didn't know I would have to start Liam because <laughs> – <laughs> probably because of the bodies we have. Um, but he has been – one of the reasons I like that he came back, we have so many young guys. I wanted another man around. He's a grad student. Uh, what he talks about, uh, I wanted him around all these younger guys, and I think he's been a great role model for them. He's, you know, used the Notre Dame network uh, to its fullest, and he's a good player. Um, he's probably pissed he didn't play more. His agent will probably call me later and we'll deal with that. But, um, you know, he just deserved it because he's great. And you know what? Given where we were, where we've been psychologically a little bit, it pumped our guys up because they love him and they were excited about that. We actually practiced starting lineups at the shoot around today because I wanted to see, I said, I want to see your game when you're introduced. Are you chest bumping? Are you high fiving? So that's what we did at four o'clock. And, uh, I thought he'd be sexier than that. He, he wasn't, but uh, you know, we. Uh, he's a great. He's a heck of a guy. He's a true Notre Dame man, and um, we'll miss him.